The one question that influencers are asked ad nauseum is, is this even a real job? And if you've attempted to become an influencer, you'll know how much work is actually involved in getting it right. If it were easy, you wouldn't have companies paying as much as they do to have influencers promote their products. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. So Aluxers, it's time to hashtag begin and delve into the world of Instagram and TikTok influencers. Number one, the history of influencers. Aluxers, if you had to go back in time, who would you think would be considered the first influencer? Pope Francis believes it would have been the Virgin Mary. He tweeted his thoughts along with his encouragement to follow her example. His tweet was also a gentle reminder that influencers don't only have to get people to buy shit, but they can have a positive influence on others, which we'll go into more detail about later. A company called Grin put forward their ideas and mentioned that the first influencers were the Pope and the Queen who were responsible for endorsing medicine way back in the day. And what about Nancy Green, the famous face behind the ready-made pancake mix once known as Aunt Jemima? Others lead toward Josiah Wedgwood, who gave a handcrafted tea seat to Queen Charlotte of England in 1760, knowing that if the Queen loved it, others would too. Wedgwood is a reputable brand still making beautiful tea seats and other pretty things to this day. It's hard to pin down an exact moment in history, but suffice it to say, influencers have been around for a long time. Number 2. Influencers are an important part of marketing strategies. At its most basic level, influencer marketing is defined as the following by Sprout Social, a type of social media marketing that uses endorsements and product mentions from influencers, individuals who have a dedicated social following and are viewed as experts within their circle. Companies and businesses are seeking not only influencers who have a strong following, but people whose values align with their own. This is what marketers have to say about the effectiveness of influencer marketing. 80% claim influencer marketing is effective, 89% believe it works better than other marketing channels, 71% say the quality of customers is far better than other platforms, 49% of customers rely on influencer recommendations, and on Google search, influencer marketing has seen an increase of 1500% over the past three years. So what do businesses hope to achieve by using an influencer? 85% equals brand awareness, 71% reaching new customers, 64% increasing sales and conversions. However, Aluxers, it's not just about making a sale as we're about to find out. Number three, influencers change opinions, not just consumer behaviors. It's easy to get caught up in the thinking that being an influencer is all about having a certain look and living a certain lifestyle. It isn't. There are so many influencers making a huge difference to their followers' lives. Megan Crabb, at Body Posy Panda, whose main message to her followers is they deserve better than hating their body. Her goal is to ensure her followers learn to have body peace, just like she has. Then there's Dan Richards at The One-Armed Wonder, who encourages body confidence and reminds us it's not just women who struggle to accept themselves for who they are, but men too. And Greta Thunberg, who introduces herself as a 17-year-old climate and environmental activist with Asperger's. She's moved mountains thanks to her influence and social media. Number 4. Influencers are not just making pocket money. TikTok has been installed on devices over 2 billion times worldwide, and influencers are earning well. Here's how they make their money. Gifting. TikTok has its own virtual currency that influencers can convert into real money. We'll explain how that works momentarily. Brand partnerships and marketing activations. These are no different to other social media platforms. A successful activation can earn a TikTok influencer between fifty dollars and $150,000. Attending sponsored events brings in extra earnings and many influencers sell their own merch. Much of the same for Instagram, although at this stage, Instagram influencers are earning substantially more than their TikTok counterparts. Number 5. Influencers on TikTok make money through gifting. Previously, we mentioned that TikTok influencers earn money through gifting. Gifting is when a fan purchases virtual currency and gives it to their favorite TikTok influencer. 
You can buy digital coin bundles starting from 100 coins for $1.29 or 500 coins for $6.49. These prices do fluctuate. TikTok content creators need a minimum of 1,000 followers to receive the gifts. The virtual currency takes the form of emojis, and each emoji has a different value. For example, the rainbow puke emoji is worth 100 coins. Influencers can then cash their money out to a linked PayPal account. Number 6. Influencers are their own brand. Influencers are literally a walking billboard advertising themselves. Not only do influencers have to be put together 24-7, but they also need to be skilled in marketing, brand awareness, business ethics, etc. Networking is key, and it's not a skill that just anybody has. It's one that needs to be fine-tuned, but once it is fine-tuned, the landscape changes and skill sets need to be adjusted. But hey, Luxers, it's totally worth it. It's projected that by 2022, Instagram influencer marketing alone will be worth $15 billion, and that's just Instagram. So if you're considering the move but think the market is saturated, think again. As long as you play with your own strengths and don't copy anybody else, you'll be on the right path to getting your influencer journey off the ground. Number 7. Highest Paid Instagram Celeb Influencers there's no denying that celebrity influencers will earn significantly more than non-celeb influencers, and here are the highest earners out there. According to LiveMint.com, Dwayne Johnson earns the most at $1,015,000 per sponsored post. Just behind him is Kylie Jenner, who receives $986,000 per post. Cristiano Ronaldo gets $889,000 per sponsored post. Kim Kardashian is at $858,000. And rounding out the top five is Ariana Grande at $853,000 per sponsored post. So Aluxers, even though these celebs are earning top dollar, regular influencers are also earning well and using their influence to drive virtual and real-life traffic to places they may not have gone before. Like you'll see in our video how Instagram influencers are driving tourism. Now Aluxers, it's all well and good being paid huge amounts of money to endorse a product, but what happens when the influencer doesn't genuinely advocate that product? Let's find out. Number 8. The Negative Side to Influencer Marketing Cara Delevingne found herself being ridiculed by followers when she posted an image of herself on Instagram stating that she was a signed-up earth protector. That sounds quite admirable and the post received hundreds of thousands of likes. Fast forward a little while and we hear news about Nasty Gal and Delevingne in collaboration. And guess what? Nasty Gal is known for causing significant environmental problems. Same with Billie Eilish, who created a PSA on climate emergency titled Our House is on Fire, and then went on to collaborate with Bershka, another fashion brand known for a fast fashion who burnt $40 million worth of clothing to ensure the exclusivity of their label. Brands are also disassociating themselves with influencers that don't behave. Case in point, New York City parenting blogger Naomi Davis, who escaped NYC with her family, which was in violation of CDC recommendations during COVID. She posted an image of her family standing in front of their hired RV ready to hit the road. Her parenting blog, Love Taza, received plenty of backlash with raised concerns that her followers would follow suit. Health Technology Ritual had teamed up with Naomi but have since distanced themselves from the blogger after her road trip was branded selfish and irresponsible. Number 9. There's no such thing as a natural shot. Hey Luxers, there's no such thing as a candid shot on Instagram. So when you hear of stories like this one about Naomi, you know that everything about that photograph posted was thought out, right to the minor details. It leaves little room for error by posting something you didn't think through properly and then regret afterwards. It's not all doom and gloom and many influencers are all about posting more natural shots of themselves and showing their normal body shapes. If influencers had to change their body according to what every troll suggested, you can imagine what kind of bizarre looking bodies we would have amongst us. Take to heart what American writer Steve Maraboli once said, most haters are stuck in a poisonous mental prison of jealousy and self-doubt that blinds them to their own potentiality. Number 10. Employees of brands are being used as influencers. When it comes to knowing a brand intimately, who better to consider being an influencer than someone working for the brand? This is becoming quite the norm when it comes to influencer marketing. 
not only because the influencer knows the brand intimately, but also it costs the company a lot less to advertise their products. It's easier for the business to keep tabs on how their marketing is doing and allows them the space and freedom to work with their employee to overcome hurdles and make changes. Customers also have more trust in an employee because they have direct insight into the company. Social Media Today further confirms that content shared by employees receives eight times more engagement than content shared by brand channels. Number 11. Micro-influencers are making a significant difference on the marketing platform. Hey Luxers, let's first look at the definition of a micro-influencer. A micro-influencer is someone who has between 1,000 and 10,000 followers. These influencers usually have a specific niche which advertisers like to tap into. Research has shown that micro-influencers receive likes at a rate of 4% compared to accounts with over 10,000 followers, which has 2.4%. Big celebrity accounts with over a million followers receive a rate of 1.7%. 82% of consumers say they trust the recommendations of micro-influencers and their audiences are actively engaged, which brands love. Number 12. There's a rise in the political micro-influencer. Now that you know what a micro-influencer is, there's a new trend for the kind of influence these micro or nano-influencers have over their audience. Take Lauren Hansen, for example. She's a micro-influencer with 12,300 followers. She posted a picture of herself in front of an open field and captioned it, seven weeks of social distancing. I know we're all getting fatigued. I know I personally get really frustrated by the amount of misinformation out there. We need to tune out the noise coming from those who believe we need to sacrifice lives and stay the course and hashtag stay home. What you skip over when you read the post is the spot where it says paid for by Defeat Disinfo. Defeat Disinfo is a political action committee or PAC to defeat the disinformation coming from Donald Trump. Some worry that this type of paid sponsoring blurs the ethical lines, especially when those reading the posts are unaware they've been politically targeted, which brings us to our next point. Number 13. Influencers have to play open cards. In 2017, the Federal Trade Commission released guidelines requesting social media influencers to become more transparent when they're being paid to endorse a product. They requested that influencers avoid vague or ambiguous disclosures, such as hashtag thanks, hashtag collab, hashtag SP, hashtag spawn, or hashtag ambassador. In the UK, it's illegal for influencers to not mention if the content they release is sponsored. It's part of the Consumer Rights Act. Regardless of whether it's legal or illegal, influencers who reveal they're getting paid are deemed more trustworthy than those who do it underhandedly. Number 14. Influencer culture is changing. As we just said, influencers who reveal they're getting paid to post something are deemed more trustworthy, and there is a trend that is seeing organic influencers growing exponentially. Those that are staying true to their values, who are authentic and have a genuine love for the brand or product they're using. Organic influencers can highly benefit a business, especially those with limited resources. The influencer is already in love with the brand or product, so half the work is done. And when a business and an influencer have the same values and vision, it can lead to more sales, trust, and a mutually beneficial long-term working relationship. Number 15. Influencers can join a union to protect themselves. Aluxers, we know that being an influencer is a full-time job, and like any job, influencers also need protection. Fashion blogger Nicole Ockren and influencer expert Kat Molesworth collaborated to form the first union for digital content creators, called the Creator Union, or TCU. Talent management agency Speaker came into the spotlight when it was revealed they hadn't paid their influencers and were taken to court and lost. And this happens often. Another incident involved Stephanie Yeboa, a black plus-size blogger who has 179,000 followers. She accidentally discovered that a white influencer with fewer followers and engagement than she had was being paid over $1,000 more for the same campaign. Having nobody to stand up for her, she left it. Another area of major concern for influencers is their accounts are being hacked, and hackers are demanding huge sums of money to release their accounts and return all their followers. So far, more than 400 influencers have joined the TCU, and it's growing quickly. So Aluxers, we're curious, do you think it's ethical that influencers get paid to post political content? We'd love to hear your thoughts below. Now, since you stuck with us until the end, we do of course have a bonus for you. 
social media influencers are going into new territory now and are being hired as actors. In the past, it used to be models, but film producers are finding more merit in using influencers. The beauty about this arrangement is that influencers are more connected with their audience, and fans have more of a chance of getting a photograph with Liza Kashi than Nicole Kidman, and that's what filmmakers are after. So Aluxers, that new movie role could be yours sooner than you think. Just remember to be authentic, consistent, find your niche, and play fair. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe for more videos, and we always appreciate your thumbs up.